Okay, hello and welcome to this screencast. Uh, the aim of which is just to give you a basic overview how you go about setting up a meeting using the Adobe Connect software package. Okay, so first and foremost, you need to get yourself registered and then logged in to the Adobe Connect software. Once logged in, uh, you'll find yourself on your home page. Uh, and now I'd like to draw your attention to create new and then selecting meeting. Okay. Here now and presented in front of us enables you to enter all the meeting information. Uh, the only essential piece of information that needs to be provided here is all meetings need to be given a name. Okay, So for example for this one I think I might be um, catching up with badminton to discuss their ACE, uh, their ACE program studies so I could create a meeting name of badminton ACE. It then does actually give me the option to create a custom URL as well. So if you wanted to go that bit further, it will create one of these automatically for you. So it's nothing essential that you needed to do. But say, for example, if I wanted to put badminton on the end of there, it would do so. And that would be the distinct URL for this meeting. Moving on then, it does give you the option to create a summary. You know, So say, for example, for this meeting, if I've got um, an agenda that I want to be discussing with badminton, I could copy and paste that in there that would be in there and I could forward it out so everyone would be completely aware of what will be discussed, how the meeting will be flown and all the topics that will be covered. Okay, Moving down then, the then gives you the options to create start dates, times and how long you feel the meeting will be created last for. So say for example if I wanted this meeting to take place on the 6th of June, uh, not 9.30pm in the evening, uh, say if we wanted it to run around about 2.15 and I thought the meeting would last in total around about an hour and a half. I could do so. But the beauty of this software is you're not actually restricted by these time frames. So say for example, come the 6th of June at 2.15pm, unfortunately I was called away and the meeting had to be cancelled. Uh, just because the meeting didn't go ahead at that time doesn't mean that a new meeting needs to be created. Meetings can be started at any point. So say for example on the 2nd of June, I didn't want to wait till the 6th of June, I could start that meeting at any time. You're not restricted by the allocated start time or duration that you put in. Moving down the template, you don't need to go anywhere other than a meeting template, so that's fine. Language, you choose as applicable, but then the next important thing is, is sort of the access that you're going to be given to this meeting. So who is it you're enabling to participate? The first option uh, looks at only allowing registered Adobe Connect users to enter the meeting. So this would be only people who were specifically signed up to the software could access that meeting. The next one uh, would be only registered users but then accepted guests. So if you had a mixture of people who were registered with Adobe Connect but also people who weren't but you did intend to want them to attend the meeting, you could also choose that option. And then the third and final one, which is arguably the most least insecure one, uh, is anyone who had access to the URL that you've created for this meeting would actually then be able to attend. For the instances in this case, I'm going to go for the mixture, so it'll be for registered users with Adobe Connect, but also people who are not going to necessarily be on the software. Audio conference settings, you do not need to worry about this at that stage, so just keep it there selected on do not include any audio conference with this meeting, and go on to next. Okay, the p next page presented with you get now enables us to select those members who are registered with Adobe Connect to attend the meeting. It does give you a search tab there, so if you did have a whole host of people who you were searching for, you could do that quite quickly there. But I can see straight qu quite clearly, quickly sorry, that Lindsay Welsh, I would like her to attend the meeting, so I would add her. And also Dana Pre-Show as well, so I'd add Dan. Okay, so these for the registered users of Adobe Connect. Moving on to the next item. Then, quite simply, that allows me to send the invitations to those registered on the Adobe Connect network. So I'd click Send Invitations, and this is an example of the message that they'll get, but don't worry too much about that. I'll show you that as it comes through. So I've sent out my meeting invitation request. What I'm going to do now is just show you a quick example of a meeting that I created before. So a typical recipient would receive something like this. So you can see there's my invite asking them to please join in the Adobe Connect meeting. Um, it's telling me what the time it's scheduled to take place, when it is, and then as you can see there, you've got the URL. By simply clicking on that URL, they will be able to enter it. If, for example, we have got people who are not registered with the Adobe Connect software, all I would simply ask you to do is once you've, once you've done this, you can just forward this as an email and they would be able then to have that URL, forward it in there to their email address and then they also would be able to attend. And that's it.